EU's planned biometric checks, at external borders, will be delayed again. In this video, we talk about another delay in implementing the EU's entry and exit system. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and click that bell, to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate your likes and comments below, as it helps to support our channel. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website at immigrationandmigration.com. This video is brought to you by IAM. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IAM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure, or already on one, and would like some assistance. The EU's Entry and Exit System or EES, is reported to have been pushed again, and this time until after the Paris Olympics in 2024. The entry and exit system, which aims to tighten up security at EU external borders, and replace the passport stamping system. For travellers who do not need a visa to enter the EU, has already been delayed several times. The checks will apply to travellers at all EU external borders, for instance, an individual arriving in Spain from the United Kingdom, but not to internal travel, between EU or Schengen area countries. It is currently due to come into effect in November 2023, however, The Independent has reported that, it has been delayed again until 2024. The newspaper has learnt that the electronic border scheme will not now go ahead this year, because the database on which it depends will not be ready in time. A formal announcement is expected in June. The delay in implementing the new system is a reprieve for the transport and airline industry, as it gives them more time to prepare to minimize the impact of the new system on border flow and traffic. There were fears that the new system could cause delays in the short term, especially as Paris expects a large number of people to attend the Olympics and Paralympics in the summer of 2024. Transportation providers are especially concerned about the UK-France border, where lengthy queues have been experienced during peak travel periods since Brexit, with cross-channel ferry and Eurostar operators issuing warnings. The Electronic Travel Information and Authorization System or ETIAS is likely to follow about six months later, as it depends on the entry and exit system to be fully functional. What are your thoughts on this issue? Talk to us in the comments section below. If you have plans to travel, check out the deals we have found in the description box below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, IAM can help. For visa advice, contact your IAM visa coordinator. If you'd like to get more info on travel, visas, immigration, and citizenship, head over to immigrationandmigration.com for more free content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.